Hi there, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. This morning we're tackling my lemon tree. It was grown from a seed, it's about uh, 20 years old now. And uh, today we're going to prune it and repot it. So this tree, it was started from a seed and I've been clipping growing it. So when I mean grow, I'll show you what I mean. Let's pan up here. way way up to the top of the tree at the top no, it's a lot at the top there so this is growth in one single season so it's getting uh, pretty tall and this has been its second year in this pot so it's going to need repotting and a lot of root pruning I think so the first thing that we're going to do, uh, I'll just spin the tree around and show you the trunk. So this tree's been grown with clip and grow techniques, where you let it grow tall, cut it back. Let it grow again, cut it back. That way you get taper in the trunk, and you get interesting character in the trunk. You get scar marks. Here's a scar from way, way back that's pretty well completely healed over. Um, Here's a scar from two years ago where it was cut back. Uh, here's last year's scar where it was cut back. So again, we're going to cut it back and it'll leave a, a nasty scar, but they heal over eventually. And when you're growing a bonsai tree, your goal is not to grow the tree as fast as possible and get a reasonable looking tree. Your goal is to get a quality looking tree. And with Clip and Grow, you get taper in the trunk and you get character in the trunk. You get slight movement, you get interesting bark, you get, uh, you know, scars that will always be there but they heal over. And if you're to grow this tree from a seed and just let it grow rapidly to this thickness, you get a straight trunk with no character, no movement, and it'd be quite a boring looking tree. Uh, this way you're getting everything you want in a tree. You, you get a tree that looks old, it is old, but it looks old, and you get character in it, which is what you're after in bonsai. So that's the reason you clip and grow trees. Um, eventually, we will start refining this tree getting branches and that kind of thing on it. But uh, for now, we're just trying to build the trunk and sort the roots out. Now, the roots on this, when it started uh, from a seed, the roots were very one-sided, and I've encouraged the roots to grow in a radial pattern. And uh, I expect there'll be a bit of a mess because it's been two years in this pot and it's rapidly grown in those two years. So. So we'll, we'll see when we go to repot it, what they look like and what we'll do with the roots. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to prune back this tall leader, which is really tall. It's, well, it's taller than me on this, on this table. So, um, what we've gotta do is pick a point. Um, and we're looking for a flowing trunk. We want it fairly vertical. We don't want a slanting style or a twisty tree in this one. So what we're going to do is, you can see this part of the trunk's fairly thick. And it kind of continues the thickness in the new growth. So that's probably got to come off. We do have a leaf here, so there's definitely a bud in there. But I don't think we want these two are almost the same size, so I think we've got to cut it totally off. So we'll do that now. And I try and get as flush a cut as possible. There we go. Timber. That was one long piece of growth for one year. And lemon trees, 
They get these really sharp needles on them. They're really tough. And they smell, they smell really nice when you prune them, which is an added bonus growing a lemon tree. Get that nice lemon smell. So there's our cut. And we're gonna cut again. This was a, a previous cut. So I'm kind of thinking we can use this as our new leader. So let's, uh, we've got two branches growing out from the same spot here. And we don't want branches yet. So we're just gonna prune those branches off. There's one and the other one. There we go. And then we've got a stump here that we're gonna prune off from. Previous years. And then we're gonna prune the top off. So I'm just looking for leaf scars. Uh, there's one back here, there's one up here. I think I think we're just going to take it off here. And there goes that. So we're back to our stump now. Which is, uh, you know, it's looking pretty good. It's got character, it's got taper. The roots are st starting to get sorted out. So that's it. Um, next job will be repotting. So I'm going to strip all the old moss off. There we go. And you can kind of see the roots, how they are now. So here we go. We're Again, we'll get our sharp edge and go around the lip to the edge of the pot. Now when you're clipping growing a tree like this, um, because you're rapidly growing it each year, you probably get a lot of roots that grow also. And it's a good idea to repot every year when you're doing this technique. When a tree's, uh, you know, in the refinement stage, the growth is a little slower and you can get away with repotting every two years. But when it's rapidly grown, you should repot every year. And the only reason I didn't repot it last year was I just didn't get time. So let's get the tree out. So again, we've got roots everywhere in the root ball, which is really good. It means the roots are really happy in the soil. They're growing everywhere in the soil. So that's always a good sign when you get a mat of roots like that and they're just filling the the roots or the soil. So we'll take the pot away. So the next thing we want to do is to rake out the roots. So again I start from the top and comb them out in a radial fashion. That way if you do tear roots they're only going to be crossing roots. Now, because the lemon tree is a large leaf tree, uh, they do, you know, with proper techniques, you can get the leaf size down quite small, but uh, not tiny. So, the uh, eventual size of this tree is going to be quite large. Even though it's small now, uh, as it grows it'll get thicker and we'll start a branching probably probably up kind of the top of the tree now we'll start you know creating some multi trunks
So then we'll flip the tree over and we'll start combing in a radial pattern from the bottom. And the soil in this, um, this was my own compost from the composter mixed with turfus in about a, it was probably a, almost a 50-50 ratio. 50% compost and 50% turfus. And the reason I use so much compost in it is that uh, the lemon tree seems to like lots of organic material. They grow really well. And I am going to do a, a video on soil eventually. Uh, a lot of people have requested it. And it's, uh, it's a video I kind of dread making because it doesn't matter what you say. There's someone else who does it differently, and everyone thinks they have the best soil there is. Um, and maybe they do, for their climate, and their rain, and their watering schedule, and their pot size, and there's a lot of factors that determine the perfect soil, if there is such a thing. But, um, you know, you can make a tree grow in pretty well anything. You can grow it in gravel, you can grow it in sand, you can grow it in compost. It, uh, sometimes it's not so much what soil you're using, but how you water it and what care the tree's getting and how much sunlight it's getting. And there's so many factors. So you can see, um, because this tree's been developed for quite a while, like almost 20 years, I don't have any major thick roots growing straight down. You know, I've got a few that have grown, but basically it's a radial root base. And it's, it's not very perfect. I mean, there's some, these thick original roots are here. The ones on this side are thinner or skinnier. But every time I repot it, I'm trying to equalize that. So I prune these roots harder let these ones grow more. And it's slowly making progress. I mean, I guess that, you know, good things take time. So there, we've got the roots pretty well combed out. You can see I've torn off a few, but not too many. And next, we're gonna wash the roots and then we'll start pruning them. Okay, so I've washed the roots. I just uh, swished them around in a tub of water. Just picking off some of the moss here. So now it's time to start pruning the roots and uh, Again, take your time with roots. Just, uh, you know, miss them as you're working on it. Um, there's two, reason was, two reasons I wash the roots. Uh, one is you can clearly see the root structure. And the second reason is when you do go in and prune the roots, you're not cutting through dirt and that, which will dull your cutters. So it keeps your tools sharper and you can really see what you're doing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm looking for root direction. You want your roots to come out radially. So, for instance, here's one that's coming 90 degrees, so we don't want that, so we'll take that right off. And there's one kind of growing on top here. I don't want that one. Find the base of it there. 
And ideally, roots are like the top of the tree. You want one root to come out, divide into two, those two divide into four, four into eight, and so on, until you get finer and finer ramification as you go out. So we're going to try and follow that. I'm just pruning another upright root off here. So here we go. Um, here's a root that's kind of growing across on an angle, so we're going to cut that off. Try to. Holy cow. There we go. It's a little thicker than I expected. There we go. And remember, our goal is the thicker roots, we want to prune back harder and the smaller ones we're going to let grow more to try and equalize the balance of the roots. So we're quite far out of balance here. We've got, we're pretty light on this side and this one's really really heavy so we might do some uh, a little more major work on that side. Uh, anything growing straight down we're going to get rid of. So let's do that first. It'll help clean up our structure so we can see the roots more clearly. And you can see these roots, there's no major cut marks in the bottom, which is good. The tree's not going to rot out or get a hollow trunk. It's uh, in good shape. Any crossing roots down here you can clean out. And you can break as you go too. I think that helps you see the actual root structure. Now here's a nasty root we can clean off. You can see it went, grew out to the edge of the pot, to the edge of the pot, <laughs> straight down. So we're going to get rid of that. Like so. There we go. And when you're pruning roots, always try and make horizontal cuts. That way the new roots grow out in a horizontal plane. Okay, so I've still got another one going down here, straight down. This one is going pretty straight down, but we're going to leave it because we can train it to grow in a radial pattern. Uh, this one's going straight down here. There's a bunch here that we're going to get rid of that are going down. some here that are growing straight down. Now, the thing we're going to do, we're going to just do a, a peripheral trim just to get some of these excessive long ones off. That'll help clean it out a bit so we can see what's going on. I'm pruning this side less. A bit of our roots here. Okay, now let's go up top here and see what needs fixing and correcting. So.
There's a root that's kind of crossing here, and it's growing vertically. I think we'll get rid of that one. There we go. I'm just looking at the structure of it. This root grows into two and it ramifies out towards the tip. We've got sort of a root growing here that's this one. We're starting to get some roots that are growing sideways here. We want to get rid of those. And I think this one, it's got a nice trunk line or root line here, but we've got this bulge on the side. So I think we're just going to get rid of that and it'll give a little more clearance between that and some of the other roots. There we go. So that, that's pretty good. Um, you can't really see the cut mark and that'll sprout new roots coming out from that cut point. Um, I'm wondering if we should do the same for this root. It's getting kind of Thick. I have cut it off at one point. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Just looking. No, I think we'll keep it. It is growing roots out from the tip, which will blend in eventually. We'll just prune it up a bit. So, let's see what we can do with it. There's one here we can prune off, an inside one. The rest aren't too bad. We can just take this one off a little more here. There was one growing down. Like so. We'll encourage these roots to grow. some moss out of there. Uh, this one it's kind of growing straight down so we'll prune it off and let these higher roots grow like so. And same with this one. It's getting a little deep. Like that. These aren't too bad. This, these aren't bad. This one We've got a straight root. We're dividing in a lot of places here. I think we've got to clean some of it up. And there's one that's horizontal here. This one is growing almost 90 degrees to the root. So we'll encourage these as our new tips to the roots. So we're going to go in and get rid of that one in here. Like so. That one we're just going to encourage to grow. This one, we've got a root that's again coming 90 degrees to the root in here. It's not a good flow line. We're going to get rid of that. And it's crossing all the other roots. That's gone. You want your roots to flow. You don't want these, you know, awkward kinks in them or the rest aren't too bad structurally they're not too bad now this one we do have two surface roots here so we can get rid of this lower part of the root system because again you know we want to prune this side a little a little more than this the uh the weaker side of the root system. Okay, now let's go underneath again. And we'll just start pruning off some of these roots that are growing. Downward.
inside one there. So that gets our root base nice and flat. Get all the excess out. And we've got it, our surface roots are fairly well pruned up from the top here. And there's still another one growing straight down here we'll get rid of. It's good, it's good. Another one growing straight down here, we'll get rid of. Bring up some of these ones that are going straight down. Thicker roots a little harder here. Just give it another misting. And I think we're in pretty good shape now for repotting. And I haven't, uh, I'm just looking to see what is a good front for the tree. I, I think this original front is the best. It's got the most surface roots. Picture our soil line, you know, it's, yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so the next stop, the next step, will be to put it back in its pot. So let's do that. Okay, so the first step, I'm gonna fill the, the pot with some fresh bonsai soil. Not fill the pot, but part way up. And we'll try placing the tree in the pot. Let me just, uh, this is a really nice pot. It's a Japanese pot. Had it for a long time. Really nice pot. Um, so you can see, it. it's kind of filling the pot. The roots are right at the edge of the pot. So I think we've got to prune the roots back a little more. So we're going to go in and just prune some of these fine roots off. Just to give them some room to grow without hitting the edges of the pot. And we'll just uh, give them a final combing. like so. so. That fits in better now. Now let's look at our, this was going to be our front here, and let's just look at our planting angle. I think, I think it's fine just the way it is, just flat in the pot. And let's look at our height. We want some of the surface roots showing. Maybe just a little higher, so I'm just going to Gonna build up a bit of a mound in the middle here. A little more. And we'll place the tree in. And we'll just ease it down. And you want to make sure your roots are still sorted out. Kind 
of high still. It's getting close. And then we're going to give a final combing. Make sure all the roots are spreading radially. Radial pattern. That looks pretty good. And then we'll top it up with some soil. Get rid of some of these bigger chunks. There we go. Now we're just gonna make sure we got it all worked into the root ball, which isn't a ball, it's a uh, root mass or root plane. Uh, some people say you shouldn't wash the roots, but as I said, uh, I, it doesn't dull your tools, and I've never had a problem washing roots. I've never had a tree suffer because I washed the roots. They're good and firm now. There we go. I think that'll do. So the next step is we should water the tree. So let me just get our watering can and we'll give it a water. Okay. So we're just gonna give it a thorough watering. This watering can is a Haas watering can, and I've had it for oh, probably 17 years, and I just keep it out of the sun, and it's worked quite well. So it's draining really, really nicely with the soil. There we go. The reason I'm repotting this now is two reasons. Uh, first reason is when it was that tall, I probably wouldn't be able to fit it practically into the plant room. Uh, the other reason is because this tree's outside um, and the weather is really cool right now, um, 
we went down to four degrees on the weekend, four degrees Celsius, which is, you know, not a whole lot above freezing. Uh, so when they do go inside the house, it's warmer and the trees think it's spring. So they, they put on a bit of a growth spurt when you first take them from outside and put them in the house. So that, that, that'll give the roots, uh, it'll stimulate the roots to grow the warmth and uh, they get pretty good sun in there from the windows. So that's the reason I'm doing it now. Uh, ideally, you would probably want to do this operation in spring but uh, this will have to do. So there we are. Uh, there's our lemon tree and yeah it's uh, coming along. It has no branches and no leaves but uh, it'll get there. So Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. We'll see you next time.